CME Group uh, in Chicago. Alan, thank you so much for being with us. So, uh, Netflix morning, is really the, the star of the show. It was really the star of the show um, yesterday, and it really has been earnings and guidance that have been pushing the market higher. Walk us through that. Yeah, we've got the fundamentals now to remind us of how well corporations are doing, and let's talk targets, starting with tech. You talk about this tech comeback. A couple weeks back, I mentioned that every time in history, until it doesn't happen, the tech market or the market in general has bounced back the distance of that sell-off on top of the old highs. So that targets about another 5% move in tech. Yes, we're already up 20% in the NDX. Look for another 5%. And I think Apple could be the catalyst. Apple has earnings coming out, I think, uh, August 1st, and Apple hasn't recovered as, as the big boys of tech like Facebook and Amazon have. So some more upside with the technical target there, 170, which would, could really give all of the markets the boost because it's a component in most of the indexes. You know, it's interesting you touched upon this. Um, just about a month ago, we saw a sell-off in tech because there were fears that the market was really rising too fast, too quickly. Are those fears still justified, do you think? Well, that was just simply gravity. The market had made new all-time forever highs like, for 8 out of 10 sessions at that time. And, you know, the markets have to have some pullback and some profit-taking. It's important to see how it reacts, not how it acts on any one given day. But you can see how it has reacted, like just like we've seen every time for the last 8 years, that the sell-offs, people find value, and it bounces back. And, uh, you know, it's can, can, it, can it continue to do so as there is really no... Uh, alternative to the stock market right now. The yields on treasuries are so low, and if you look at what's happening in the performance, the dollar uh, net income or the dollar profits that some of these companies are making, just a list of banks, you had uh, JP Morgan, $7 billion, Bank of America, $5 billion, Citigroup, $4 billion, Wells Fargo, $6 billion. That's what they made for the quarter. So uh, people are doing fantastically well. I'm sorry, stocks are doing fantastically well. <laughs> And in terms of what is really moving the market, Alan, is it is it primarily just earnings and guidance? How much of there, how much of a reaction is there about the news out of Washington, especially when it looks as though President Trump's sort of pro-growth policies are going to be pushed onto the back burner? The good news is not reacting at all to Washington. There are so many things that have happened in the last six months that could have shaken the markets and should have shaken the markets, but the markets are on their own trajectory. You right remember, we were up 100% before this election, so yes, this is the cherry on top. We have momentum, and we are continuing to move higher, so the market is able to ignore some of the nonsense until it has any actual impact. Uh, I'm looking for this to continue this up, up, and away. Like I said, there's not any alternative for money flows right now, and uh, not necessarily the economy is bouncing back uh, strongly, but corporate profits are bouncing, and that's that's what drives these markets. Stocks are the only option, as you mentioned. All right, Alan Luckman, live for us there. Thank you so much. Appreciate that.